Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be discussing the characters Chuck and Howard from Better Call Saul, along with the most recent situation that they're involved in. With that being said, heavy warning of spoilers for everything up to the Season 3 finale and a let's jump right into this. So during the meeting in Episode 310, when Howard tries talking to Chuck about what he's done, Chuck just kinda quietly stands there and tries to deny it. Howard genuinely seems sick and tired of dealing with Chuck as he is unable to apologize for what he's done or even admit to most of it. First off, when Howard tells Chuck that he's betrayed him, Chuck just doesn't respond and instead tries flipping it on Howard, saying that Howard actually betrayed him. When Howard calls it bullshit and tells Chuck that he knows it, Chuck just gives him this confused stare as if he genuinely doesn't understand what Howard's talking about. This is why Howard mumbles to himself that this is pointless as he takes out the check of 3 million to give to Chuck as he's accepted the fact that he can't reason with Chuck due to his stubbornness. Chuck seems to almost be completely in denial that he could possibly have any wrongdoings, even though we all know that he does. He would never admit to being wrong about something that he said, let alone something that he's done. I'm unsure if Chuck even realized his wrongdoings up until this conversation with Howard as he's been so blinded by his noble arrogance as he is more full of himself than I can ever describe. Let me know what you guys think about Chuck's stubbornness and arrogance. Am I being too hard on the guy? I feel like if Chuck would have manned up to his actions and apologized to Howard throughout season 3 that they would have both been in a way better position right now. Well, definitely Chuck, and who knows, if Chuck actually took Howard's advice back in episode 305, maybe Chuck would have never had a mental breakdown. If Chuck would have just apologized for embarrassing the firm as well, along with admitting that he got carried away with Jimmy, at least to Howard privately, maybe Howard would be more willing to give him another chance. Also, the fact that Chuck expected Howard to shake his hand due to being backed in a corner instead of just apologizing really shows Chuck for the type of person he really is. It seems as though Chuck has tried telling noble lies to cover up his true motives so many times that he's tricked himself into believing it as truth. There's a difference between him knowing that he did something wrong and not wanting to admit it, rather than just honestly thinking that he never did anything wrong in the first place, but either way, it's still bad. This relates into the topic of Chuck actually actually being the self-destructive person and maybe not necessarily Jimmy. During Jimmy's final conversation with Chuck, Chuck told Jimmy that he's completely destructive of everyone around him when in reality it's kind of Chuck that's the destructive one, not Jimmy. I'll have another Better Call Saul video up soon discussing that in more detail, but in the meantime let me know what you guys think about Chuck down in the comments section below, along with leaving a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today. Feel free to subscribe for more more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content in the near future, but that's pretty much it for this video guys. As always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. It's already a solid case. We have Jimmy's statement from the pre-prosecution diversion, there's my testimony and the private eyes. Maybe there's no need to put you through the ringer like this. This isn't about me, or my health, but one of my jobs is to safeguard the firm's reputation. This is not the time to worry about how we look. This is about what's right and what's wrong.